About the question in discussion today, in regards to nature being the answer to world's water challenges, what do you think? I really don't see it. Maybe in that imaginary world you like to play in, I, I could. I think it stands a chance. Think about it. Over 2 billion of Earth's population does not have access to safe drinking water. And as the world's population increases, over the course of the years, the higher the demand for safety drinking water will increase. Statistics shows that agriculture accounts for 70% of global water which was used. Yeah, interesting. The industry uses 20% of the global water by energy and manufacturing. 10% of water is used to domestic use and 1% is used for drinking. 1%? Really? I can spare a glass or two for my week's consumption. Whom do I mail it to? This is serious. We need to take action. All right, Miss Social Justice Warrior. I guess water distillation or cloud seeding could be a solution to places with water shortage, such as South Africa, I guess. Indeed it is. Come on, let's go take a trip to South Africa to see what the water shortages are doing there. How in the world are we going to get to South Africa? Ah, the act of teleportation. Whatever. Just look. People around here are rationing water just to survive. Like I said earlier, there really isn't a solution to this. Oh really? Look at that! In a unique process called cloud seeding, microscopic particles are dropped into rain clouds to make them rain, therefore reversing the laws of Mother Nature and resisting the water shortage. Think about it. If only we could have something like this in other places around the world to fix water crisis. Oh, now I get what you're saying. They're using nature's rain as a way to solve South Africa's water problem. Hey, Alicia, one more thing. What are some importances of water? Good question. Water is used for drinking, cleaning, preparing food, maintaining lawns and plants, and removing sewage. Wow, we really use water for a lot of things. Exactly. That's why it's essential to modern society. You can go a little while without eating food, but not too long without drinking water.